when spot is not. Well, good morning, guys. Louie here, and welcome to the weekend. Another crazy week it's been. Today, I want to talk about something that is both confusing and dangerous, and that is spot price. Okay, and um, this is the conventional spot price that you might see on Kitco. Um, and uh, what's happening at some of the major dealers, as you know, spot is reflected in both a bid, 25.53 in this case, and an ask, 25.63, and uh, that is the widely accepted um, spot price, right? And you would expect to see that price reflected, uh, probably the ask price, when you go to a major bullion uh, retailer. But look what's happening lately. All right, I am on Appmex, and they think that the bid is 25.60, and the ask is 2580. All right, so you see a solid 20 cent difference between what Kitco says the spot is and what Appmex says the spot is. One more time, let's review Kitco. So here we have Kitco again. The ask on Kitco is 2563 and the ask on Appmex is 2580. Okay, so that is um what is that? 20 nearly 20 cent different on the ask. Why does Appmex feel that um, the bid and ask are different than what is reported on uh, Kitco? Okay, this is right off Appmex's website. It's the definition, their definition of spot price. Now, I won't read the whole thing, but it says a metal spot price is the market price of the metal that fluctuates from minute to minute just like a normal stock. Well, that's odd. I always thought spot price was defined by LBMA and uh, um, and COMEX and, and so forth. Um, maybe I'm looking in the wrong place to figure out what spot price is. Let's look a couple other places. All right, I pulled this off the uh, LBMA website, and uh, you'll see here shortly that uh, the spot price, according to them, is uh, 2562 uh, about a penny different from uh, what Kitco is showing. Um, maybe we need to find out where Kitco is pulling its prices? All right, I was at Kitco and they're pretty much in sync with the uh, LME and the, uh, um, the US uh, spot price. But um, I went over to the CME group <clears throat> where they trade silver futures. And what you, you will see here is that um, silver trades um, today and then it trades uh, at a value for April and a value for May, etc., depending on when you want to take delivery. Okay, now this is really interesting that uh, the futures contract is trading at uh, 2582, 2583, which is very similar to uh, what Appmex was quoting for their ask. So um, the, the other thing that's really interesting here is the current month delivery price is above uh, the May delivery price. So that's unusual. Normally there's a cost of carry and you would, um, you'd expect uh, the May price to be higher than the, uh, the March price, um, but in this case it's lower. Uh, what is that? Backward backwardation or contango? I forget. But um, so clearly there is a disconnect between the physical um, uh, spot price and the current month futures price. Appmex appears to be deferring um, to the futures contract. Really strange. Let's see if other dealers are doing this. All right, we're over at JM Bullion. And we can see they've got that familiar 2582 price as well. Uh, let's try another one. All right, Provident Metals, uh, they're owned by JM Bullion, so I would expect them to have the same price. And they do. By the way, the 007 bars are out and they are super, super hot. Highly recommend you pick up some of those. Uh, Bold or Monument may have the best price on those one ounce and ten ounce bars, and the gold is pretty nice too. But uh, there we go again, twenty five eighty two. Uh, let's try some of the smaller retailers. 
All right, we're over at uh, Monument Metals and uh, check out those $40 Eagles. Um, oh, actually, that's a Type 1. Um, but uh, $25.57, so that appears to be the, um, the bid price. Um, so that's consistent with, um, with Kitco. We're over at Hero Bullion now. Uh, Twenty-five sixty-seven. They didn't have a bid and an ask here, but that is a couple of cents more than the ask price uh, over at Kitco. But uh, do you see what I mean about these spot prices? So the bigger retailers seem to be defaulting to uh, silver futures, which um, are high, and uh, the smaller retailers seem to be using the traditional spot price that you would find over at Kitco. So I think we need to be really careful with this. <clears throat> and you might say, well, it really doesn't matter. The price is the price of the products they sell. But often they say something like um, $369 over spot or you know $199 over spot. And I think we would all be well advised to uh, take a look at exactly what they think the spot price is. And of course, if you walk into your LCS and you go to sell something, um, they aren't going to give you the futures uh, price, right? Um, they're probably going to give you um, that price you saw on Kitco. But, uh, you know, spot is no longer spot, and something is up. I've never seen this before. I know there have always been minor differences between spot prices reflected at the different retailers. But uh, that's a pretty big difference, and there's something wrong in the futures market. Um, and I won't speculate on that. There are lots of videos that can tell you um, what may be happening there. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, and some of you know much more about these markets than I do. But um, I don't like what I'm seeing, and uh, I wonder if it's that some of the big retailers uh, can't get all the silver that they're selling, so they're quoting the futures market instead of um, the spot market? Um, is it something like that? Uh, anyway, it is uh, becoming hard to find deals. It, it, it's a very tight market. I'm not saying silver is in short supply, but uh, something is definitely up, and I think we are, we're percolating on a move here. I've also heard speculation that we'll have a smackdown uh, before the end of March, having to do with large shorts in the silver market. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, so you could see some volatility between now and March 31st. But I, I think we're, we're gearing up for a move here. Um, and uh, it, it's definitely unusual times. Um, so I will leave it at that and allow um, people that uh, know a lot more than me to comment um, why spot isn't spot anymore. Okay, guys, uh, and go check out those bars, those James Bond bars. I think you really like those. Um, I bought a, a small mountain of them. <laughs> All right, I hope you have a great weekend and keep the faith and uh, hodl your silver. And uh, let's, uh, let's uh, move forward together and enjoy what's next. Louie out.